Hi, this is Dr. Ramu, working as a Dean, Career Development Center in Narsimharad Engineering College, Hyderabad. Today, my main agenda of this video is the importance of the coding. As you know that the coding plays vital role in all big companies. We can name it the company like top companies like Amazon, Facebook, Google, whatnot. Even the service based companies, TCS, CTS are also showing much interest towards the programmers who are good in the coding knowledge. So for that reason, in our campus, we are going to improve the coding culture, right? So coding culture is nothing but to come students voluntarily to do the code. That is our intention. For that, as a primary step, we people are going to consider the two platforms presently. There's a two, I mean, so many coding platforms are there in the market, even though Primarily, we will concentrate on hacker rank platform and the next followed by the code chef. These are the two different platforms and uh, coming to the hacker rank platform, this platform is going to be useful the students who are going to practice and learn the things, right? And the, after learning the things, you have to test your knowledge, right? So further, the code chef is the best part. Now, code chef, every Wednesday, there is a challenge. Coding contest is there. If you participate in the coding contest, though you will get a rating, star rating, right? In in, in the top star rating in the code chef is a seven star. Like that, hacker rank also there is a, some badges out there. If you complete your one course and you'll get a badges, right? And today video in today's video, I'm going to concentrate mainly on hacker rank and its badges, right? So here I'm going to show you how to log in and register in the hacker rank and how you can check the your performance in the code hacker rank right so this is the page hacker rank if you click here you're going to land in the login page right this is my page if you don't have an account you just go to the sign up and try to register account and sign in when you sign in so you'll get so many topics available here, right? You can prepare by the topics. As initially, we will concentrate on only C language, right? This is C is there, right? In C, if you solve all the programs, it's not more than 30, 40 programs. If you solve the all programs, you're going to get the five star badge, right? That badge is very important in terms of interviews. So when you submit your resume to the one company, if you mention the star rating and the badges in the resume that they will give the more weightage regarding those badges right so that's why try to concentrate on such kind of badges and achievements right so here when you click on c language so these are the programs over there here you, you, you can you can solve the programs based on your interest so i'm asking you to first you can select the c language c basic and easy right first you complete the basic programs and after that you move to step by step right and also i'm going to show you the leaderboard here here this is the leaderboard if you click on the leaderboard this is the algorithms point right we want to see that practice in the c language but c language is not available here you can click any any one language right and here in the, in the address bar python is there right you just replace the python with the c language then it is going to take you to the C later board. This is the C later board. So see how many points are there in the topper? 620 points. If you solve the 500 points, you will get the badges. What is the badge? What is the meaning of the badge? What is the purpose of the badge? See here, I'm going to show you the badges, how it looks like. These are the my badges, right? Once you solve the programs, you'll get it. You're going to get the badges from the hacker rank, right? You're going to mention these badges in resume that will give the you'll get more weightage as well. Got it? Is it clear? And coming to the star rating also, right? So here, one minute, here you just see that I received the four stars, right? If you solve 30 more points, if you receive, then I'll reach the 500 points and I'll get the one more star as well. I'll show you here in C language, have you observed this? So, you points, 
you will get a next gold badge. How many points are away from the gold badge? Just 35 points. If I reach the 35 points, I get the gold badge as well. Got it? And I'm going to show you how to solve the programs in the C language. Initially, this is the hello world program, right? This is the hello world program. I'm going to show you how to run this program. So in top companies, like you can name it the top company, any company, no need to write the code from the scratch. The code is already available, right? Only how to fill the blanks kind of thing, right? You just see here, I just am resetting the code. So see, enter the code here, read the input from the STDN and print the output to STD out, right? Here you have to fill the data. The remaining thing part is there, right? And what is the our task? Print the hello world and followed by the, the message which you are going to read from the input, right? That you need to print. Got it? So, already you read the message, right? I am simply writing printf percentage s, right? You know that to printing the string you require the yes, right? Percentage yes and data is there in the yes. And if you run the code, so your output is welcome to C programming. But what is the output expected? Hello world, welcome to C programming. Right? This message is missing, right? So I'm just, I try to use the same message as well. See, slit is wrong answer. What is the output? Hello world, welcome to C programming. But how, welcome to C programming is there in the next line, right? That is why it is a wrong answer. So to overcome that, I'm simply using here slash n. Then when I run it, sorry, I made a mistake here. I have to use this slash in here. Hello world, not in the scanner. Yeah. Got it? Now right answer. After submitting the code, you will get the respective points. Got it? Your program is successfully compiled. And see, go to the new challenge. For this problem, if you observe that, if you solve this problem, you will get a 5 points. Like that, this problem 5 points. If you go to the hard problems, So if you solve this problem, you will get a 60 points, right? Based on the hardness and based on the category, you will get the points, right? So as a first task, you need to concentrate on C programming to getting the five badges end of your semester, right? This is the very important for the first year and second year students. And after I'll, I'll post the Google form to collecting the your uh, hacker rank usernames. What is a hacker rank username means? You just see that this is called as a handlers also. You just move to the profile. This is called as a username. G underscore Ramu CSE. Right? This is the this is the username. If someone asks, see, even without login also, I can check the others profiles as well. Got it? That's why no need to log in with your account, right? If you share your, your username with others, they are going to check your profiles. And also in leaderboard already I mentioned that if you have performed well, the others will see your profiles by default. So this is, I'm going to open the profile with that person. So he received the one badge, right? Got it? See, right? So the recruiters are able to see your profiles. That's why don't give up as the end of this 2-2, two -two, right? Or 1-2, second semester, you have to complete these 30 programs and you have to end the badges, right? Let us see who will complete the first as a five star, I mean, five star rating in the C programming language in hacker rank websites, right? Who are calling the first 
10 members get the goodies and first 100 members get the super coders badge from the college okay so if you have any doubts reach out me i am there in the csc department right thank you thank you very much